Hello, this is Lucy, Miss Vintage Jingles ASMR. Um, as you can see, I'm walking up and down the uh, hallway, not hallway, floorway, um, wearing a top that I got from Edinburgh Windmill Shop in Leicester when I was visiting family about two weeks ago. Um, it's about sixteen pounds. I think I mentioned Leicester already. In Leicester, <laughs> I'm quite forgetful I am. And the skirt was from the charity shop, the purple one. The waistcoat that I'm now showing is, or oh well, was because it was a while ago. Was about eight pounds from a charity shop, Pilgrim's Hospice in Canterbury. Um, called Crocs and Socks. It's more of a vintage slash charity shop. It's really good in there. I recommend going in there. You can find really cool, fun things. It is a bit more expensive than a normal charity shop, but it's really, really nice. I find really quirky thing. If you like quirky, it's good going in there. They also have a fabric part to it with button. I can't say it. <laughs> Buttons. And um, zips darkening without having fabric. So, yeah, I recommend going in there. And clothes, obviously, shoes, hats, scarves, ornaments, that sort of thing. This top, I was going to say shop, top, <laughs> can have the right words in it. Right, correct. This is from um, Edinburgh Woollen Mill Shop. And again, was sixteen pounds. But my mum's family gave me a tenner towards it, so it wasn't that expensive. So it was Instead of sixteen, um, I'm paying thirty-two pounds for two shops, which I'm not used to because I always go in charity shops. Okay, the next top I'm showing you is a pink velvety kind of top. It's very comfortable to wear, and I think it's quite flattering on me. I'm just going to grab a TK Maxx brush. I really like the pattern on this. I thought it would sound good if I brushed the fabric with that brush. And um, yeah. <laughs> I enjoy doing that clock thing. I, uh, I just did the action, not like you can see me, but <laughs> editing thing. Pattern transition or something. Anyway, this dress I got from my mum's family member in Leicester and um, she gave it to me because she didn't fit it or didn't suit her, was too big for that sort of thing. It's originally from Asda's. I don't know how much it was that Asda she gave it to me. It was new and she hadn't worn it. Still the label and everything. I think it really suits me. It's very flattering and it doesn't make me look frumpy a word <laughs> so yeah and the velvet jacket that I was wearing in the other clip that's just gone past was um from that pilgrim's vintage shop in Canterbury I think it's from Palace Street but I might be wrong some sort of street I don't know it's going towards the uh, cathedral these shoes I'm trying to zoom into at the moment I don't have the exact shop name or the type of shoe that they came from in the shoe box, but I know that it was in a very expensive shop. Well, for me, for most people, it probably is quite expensive to pay on a pair of shoes. It was £69.99 to have, they are so comfortable to wear. I um, find them really, really comfy, obviously, as I just said that, but they go with quite a lot, even though there's a blue block the front and a brown block at the back. They're very comfy and they go with a lot. I think I've repeated myself. <laughs> um kind of lost what I was saying. Anyway they um go with a lot because the brown matches a lot of things, even though the blue tone doesn't as such, but the brown's kind of more of a neutral colour which will match a lot of my clothes. Um I don't always wear this type of shoe because I don't like my toes being on show. However, I thought, oh well, try anything. 
these next shoes are um pink and white baby pink and white that one's my phone vibrating and again <laughs> don't have your phone so close to the mic however i'm watching my video as i speak so that's why anyway um what was i saying <laughs> oh yeah these were from peacocks eight pounds i just removed my dog's dog bed out the way from the video shop so i forgot to move it and it's dog's toys scooby doo i think it was and something else earlier on i forgot to move those out the way so they're not in shop um i always forget about that sort of thing i'm just like walking up and down side to side making sounds i hope you don't mind as much if this audio is too loud, as I say, I should have said in the very beginning, but adjust your uh, audio sound volume. That's the word, volume. Volume. That's something else, isn't it? Volume. <laughs> um, accordingly to what sound. That, that's what I'm sort of talking about. <laughs> um, sorry, the wind. It's also not wind as in that sort of wind. It's farting. Wind, as in we need to walk into the mic frame, try and talk a little bit further away because if I talk quite near it, I've got my um, hand in front of my mouth because I don't want that blowy noise that you get. Which again sounds like a fart, but I don't mean farting. I mean the wind noise in the mic frame. I hope you understand what I mean. Anyway, these black boots are from Clark's and I don't normally manage to walk in hills that are quite a uh, thin kind of hill at the back back of the hill whatever not the words <laughs> um, anyway so I uh yeah I was going to say something else I was going to say that the, I don't have the windshield fluffy microphone thingy on my microphone whatever it's called windshield wind something I can't remember I did have another one but that got lost. I'm losing track of not watching the video and telling you about that. I'm rambling. Sorry. Um yeah, but these shoes as well. The shoes before were really really comfy, so are these. Shoes before were the black boots from Clark's. They were seventy pounds originally on sale, twenty six pounds. Good bargain. These shoes were free, even better. My mum's friend gave them to me, her daughter had bought them from Clark's and didn't wear them so I required them <laughs> she gave them to me so I don't know how much they were originally probably a bit expensive I imagine but um, they're very comfortable to look although I don't wear them very much as I forget I have them <laughs> sorry I was a bit loud I'll move away from the microphone now so as I said I hope you adjust your microphone Volume, not microphone, accordingly, because that's quite loud. Sorry about that. I don't know if I can adjust that, I haven't figured that out yet. My editing software that Alistair got me, gave me, because he's got it, and then he's like, oh, you put it in. And then I got it. My explanation is pretty rubbish. <laughs> um, see, Scooby Doo is on, he's famous, he's on the show. <laughs> Find me. Uh, these shoes are also from Clark. Um, they were free again, my mum's friend gave them to me, my daughter didn't wear them for some reason or other, so I required them as well. However, these are more probably of a winter shoe as I don't particularly wear them, exactly, I just realised I think the volume is actually playing on this, turned it down probably hurt that but yeah maybe it's me moving I don't know I'm not freaking out this but they are a bit big on me actually I think they're a size 6 and I'm a size 5 but I was like free shoes I want them so I decided to wear them <laughs> anyway although I think the next shoe after the black pair of shoes also are a bit big for me but I'll wear them anyway <laughs> um when I finish sort of moving around on these shoes 
a very, I've probably mentioned this already, I'm quite repetitive, I speak. And I'm putting it anyway. They're very comfortable to wear. These black boots, I've got quite a big platform at the front and a good heel at the back. But they've got a grip as well on them, so it's great for walking about when it's especially wintry or dodgy English weather. Probably snow in September <laughs> or something other, sorry. Um, yeah, they're, they're probably snowed English weather. Those shoes would be good because they've got ripping them. <laughs> probably not great in the hills and snow, but <laughs> probably a bad idea actually. Snow, ice, hills, no. You know, these are from Topshop and I think they were £40, but that was with a student discount, I think. I had a student discount about two years ago. In 2014. Oh yeah, I don't know if I've mentioned before, but I'm having a year out of uni. Um, mental health reasons. And I, um, uni is all, the uni that I go to is really good and very supportive and got a lot of help with my work and stuff, but I just feel like I need a year out to get myself better, if you like. And um, not necessarily from Asperger's, but there's a much work or something else. Okay. Um, but from depression and my self-harm, obviously. I need to find ways of coping with stress rather than doing that, obviously. And then um, mentally getting help with the Asperger's who just inside from Morsley or something like that. It's called in London. I think it's in London. Is it in London? I can't. Anyway, that's why I'm having a year out to get better. Now these shoes I really really like as they're floral and pink and fun, quirky and I like quirky as you might have gathered from my clothing style. And I like bright colours, wearing bright colours and colours like all I have to have these. I think they were about £60, 40 to £60 on eBay. I can't exactly remember how much but something like that. Um, I really like wearing them. They are very fun, although these are the ones I said that are a bit big for me. They're more of a size 6 than a size 5, but they said a size 5 on them. The person said them they're a size 5, although they're not a size 5. <laughs> they are big on me, five and a half, six maybe. So they're a bit big, but I still wear them, because hello DMs. I want DMs. <laughs> I'm just like, I make them fit. Anyway, this video now is about to end, I think, soon, so I'm going to go now. I hope I don't ramble too much and you don't mind me rambling about stuff. So, yeah. Thanks for watching and listening in this case. Bye bye.